Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I'm going to be using the lowly paper plate and elevating it to the highest standard of art. We're going to be making paper plate butterflies. I love paper plates. I have to be completely honest. They're inexpensive, but you can do so many things with them. In fact, um, I had been at the library and I was doing a library program we were making rainbows and so I had had all these paper plates cut in half and I had one child who said I don't want to make a rainbow and so I said well, well what should we make instead and he said I want to make a butterfly well I was like well perfect let's make a butterfly so I'm going to show you what we did we took a paper plate a pair of scissors I happen to have some doll pins or uh, these are also known as clothes pins um, I had some uh, pipe cleaners and then of course I had fun stuff like uh, markers and I had all these fun embellishments and stuff with me too and you don't need any of this stuff but it just is added great stuff to have. So what I'm going to do basically is take this plate and cut it in half. I'm just going to take my scissors, cut it right down the center. Now you can use any kind of paper plate. I happen to be a, a fan of these ridgy plates, these kind of more rigid plates, just because they're sturdier. They, they let kids really, really get into it and really decorate them because they're so sturdy. But you can use those cheap white, you know, the ridgy ones, those are great too. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got my two halves and I'm just gonna glue them together with a little bit of hot glue right in the center here. Just put a dab of hot glue. Remember, it is hot, so little fingers, do not touch. And then I'm going to place this right on the center there. And I'm just going to hold it for about 30 seconds. And that's going to get nice and dry. And as you can see, it makes the perfect shape of the butterfly wings. Now, to make the butterfly's body, you don't have to do this if you can't find clothespins. I mean, what you can do is you can just put like a little puff ball or look, I have these great um, hearts here. I could put a little heart up here to be his head. You really don't need this, but it's just for me, I have them and they're just so cool, I think. So what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm just gonna slide it on. Oops, I've gotta get it on both of them. Slide it over the paper plates. Both of them, here we go. Ah! Okay, now, put, there we go. See that? And that makes his little body, which I think is so fabulous and perfect. And then I'm gonna take this amazing pipe cleaner and I'm gonna wrap it around his neck so he's almost got a scarf here and I'm gonna twist it twice. And actually I twisted it three times. Anyway, there we go. And that's going to make his antennas. Now I can just roll these antennas over if I want to. Or if I want to get really fancy, I can put beads on. I'm just going to put one little bead on each end here. Put one here. Doo -doo -doo. And one on the other side. What I love about these is that they can be simple if you want them to be simple, but they can really get elaborate. I mean, you can use everything from tissue paper that you decoupage on with a little bit of Mod Podge, or just decorate up with markers and stickers, whatever you want. Now there you have it. That's the basic butterfly. And once you're done this, then you can go to town and decorate. And let me show you some of the examples that I've got here. Over here, I've got one we happen to have all of this fluff left over. It's um, the little marabou necklaces that, that the kids wear, those marabou neck things, like a, like a feather boa. We had a whole bunch of them left over from a party, and so I thought they might be kind of fun. Looks kind of like a mummer, doesn't it? If you're from Philadelphia, you know what that means. So there's my mummer butterfly. This one has just been decorated with crayon and little dauber markers. These are the dauber markers. Some people use them to play bingo. And then I've put some daubers onto the little body here, and I gave them some Google eyes because you know how I am. I love Google eyes. Everything should have Google eyes, I think. And then on this one, again, I've just used, I got a little more intricate, and I took my time and really made a pattern around his wings and really had some fun with the design. And then, of course, I used some puff balls because that's the other thing I love. Along with paper plates, I love puff balls. And I glued those on for a little bit of of texture, which I think is really fun. And that's it. And that's what I said in the beginning, is that the most amazing thing about this is that you can just go anywhere. The sky is the limit with two little sides of a paper plate. And that's all you need for artistic creation. 
For more ideas of what you can do with a little lowly paper plate, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.